Hey guys, welcome back. We have your digestive wall model here. Um, we're going to go through it step by step as slow as possible. We have four different sections for you, four different sections of your GI tract. All right, so this is going to be your esophagus right here. So everything in this section is going to be your esophageal uh, section. The next section is your stomach. So this layer, all this is your stomach. All this layer is going to be your small intestine, and all this layer is going to be your large intestine. Okay? So one more time, we have the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. All right? So keep that in mind as we're going through all this stuff, okay? Um, know that your esophagus, this area is going to be in your thoracic cavity. Well, most of it anyways. But anyways, so this is your esophagus. Keep that in mind when we go over the, the, the adventitia versus the serous, all right? So the next thing on your list is the tunics, all right? So remember we talked about this being your mucosa layer, all right? This right here being your muscularis mucosae. This is your submucosa. This is your muscularis. These muscles right here are coming toward us. In fact, what I'll do is I'll tip this a little forward. So see how you can actually see it circular, circular around the intestinal wall. So this would be your circular muscle, and this being your longitudinal muscles. Okay. So all this is your muscularis, submucosa, and mucosa. This is going to be your adventitia layer and your serous layer. The only difference is one's in the thoracic cavity and the rest are in the abdominal cavity. So this is your serous layer, all right? Same tissue, same everything, except it's just called adventitia in the thoracic cavity, serous in the abdominal cavity, okay? All right, the next thing on our list is identify individual cells at the arrows. Um, now, remember when we, oh, sorry about the noise there. Remember we talked about chief cells and parietal cells, all right? So this guy right here is going to be your chief cell, okay? This is going to be in which section? If this is the esophagus, this would be the stomach, all right? So the chief cell and the parietal cell are in your stomach layer. So chief cell, parietal cell, all right? Now there's one in the small intestine that we want you to know. It's called the enteroendocrine cell. That's going to be this guy right here. All right, so this is in the small intestine, and it's called your enteroendocrine cell. The last one on your list is the goblet cell of the large intestine. This guy right here. This is your goblet cell of the large intestine, okay? All right, guys, that's it for your list on the digestive system wall model, and we'll see you next model.